Well, there we have it. After months of deceit and deception, yeah. the pathetic spectacle of a man who's run out of road. Yeah. His defence, his defence that he didn't realise he was at a party. <laughs> it, it, it is so ridiculous that it's actually offensive to the British public. He's finally been forced to admit what everyone knew, that when the whole country was locked down, he was hosting boozy parties in Downing Street. Yes. Is he now going to do the decent thing and resign? Yes. Prime Minister. Well, uh, Mr Speaker, it, it is... Well, Hancock went. I think somebody will be going for an early cup of tea as well. <laughs> Can I just say... The question's being asked. I want to know the answer. Your constituents want to know the answer. I don't need any extra help either. So please, Prime Minister. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I, 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 I appreciate the, uh, the, the point that he's making about the, the event that I, uh, I attended. Uh, I, I, want to, I want to repeat that uh, I thought it was a, a work event. And, and Mr Speaker, uh, I, 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 re I regret... I regret very much. I regret very much that we did not do things differently uh, that evening, uh, Mr. Speaker. As I've said, and I take responsibility and I apologise, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, but as for as for his uh, his political point, I don't think that he should uh, preempt the outcome of the inquiry. And he, uh, he will have he will have a further opportunity, Mr. Speaker. I hope uh, to question me as soon as possible.